Hello and welcome. This is the first episode about idioms. Idioms about numbers from 0 to 10. Before we start, we need to understand what idioms are. Idioms are expressions or phrases that you can't translate literally. They usually have a figurative meaning that comes from a special story or culture or country or city. So, let's get started. So, we have the first idiom, from hero to zero. Usually, we use this idiom when we, when we want to talk about a person who was regarded as a hero or a very important person for a group of people, and then he did something bad or something happened, and they don't respect him or love him anymore, and they just try to cast him away, or he's not important for them anymore. From hero to zero. Uh, this happens a lot in real life, especially when we talk about sports. So one day you are this amazing, huge uh, sports star, and then you miss a penalty or you do something stupid, and now the fans turn on you. They don't like you anymore, or for them, you are not that important anymore. There is a very famous expression, uh, this is from Batman, The Dark Knight, when uh, Dent told Bruce Wayne, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So, this has a very similar meaning, from hero to zero. Now, let's go to number one. Back to square one. It means back to the beginning. We usually use this idiom when you have a plan or you are trying to do something and after a long time or after many steps you fail and you realize that you need to go to the very beginning and to try to do things differently. Back to square one. Uh, this idiom actually comes from football. In the past, when radio commentators they uh, separated, no, sorry, not separated. They divided the football field into squares. So as a listener, you can really understand where the ball is. So square one was just in front of the goal, the very beginning, back to square one. Uh, this is, we also use it a lot nowadays when we uh, play board games. Usually the square one, it is where you start, back to square one. Number two, so we have to kill two birds with one stone. This is a very famous idiom and it's shared in many languages. It is to do two things at the same time or to try to get two results at the same time. For example, uh, like now, you are watching this YouTube video and I hope that you are having fun and learning something new and useful for you at the same time. So, to kill two birds with one stone, you are having fun and learning. Strike three, you're out. This is from baseball. In baseball, you have three chances to hit the ball. If you fail to hit the ball in three chances, so you are out of the field, you can't play anymore. So, usually we use this idiom when we give three chances to a person to do something right and he fails to do the right thing for three times. So, we will not give him any more chances. Strike three, you're out. Number four, all four corners of the world. All four corners of the world. Usually, we use this expression when we want to say that uh, the people came from all around the world, or I traveled all four corners of the world, so I traveled everywhere. All four corners of the world. Like, for example, when I say now, uh, the Turkish baklava is being exported to all four corners of the world. So, if you go to any country, you can order the baklava and it will reach you there, for example. Number five, take five, take five. Five here, we are talking about five minutes. 
So let's say, for example, that you are studying or working and you really feel tired or you are really bored. So you should take five. It means stop working or stop studying for five minutes, relax, and then come back again. Take five. Six feet under. Six feet under. It means dead and buried. Usually, when somebody dies, we put him in a casket and we uh, dig for six feet under the surface and then we bury him. Six feet under to die and be buried in the ground. We can also use it as a way to tell somebody that I'm going to kill you and bury you. Like, for example, your father is going to put you six feet under if he knew that you took his car. Six feet under, to be dead and buried. After that, number seven, behind seven locks. Of course, locks here, we're talking about the lock and the key, like safe. So let's say that there is something that you must keep safe. You don't want to lose it or you don't want anybody to steal it. So be, uh, be very careful about it. Put it behind seven locks. So put it in a safe place and make sure nobody can get it or steal it. So for example, you borrow a, a book from somebody or you borrow something expensive and he tells you, please be very careful about it. Put it behind seven locks. Number eight, behind the eight ball. This expression comes from uh, billiards or pool. So the eight ball is usually the black ball. Usually when you hit the balls, you must hit them in the correct order and you can't touch the eight ball. So if the ball that you want to hit, let's say it's number two or number three or number seven, it's behind the eight ball. So it's very hard for you to hit this ball without hitting the eight ball. And it means that you are in a very difficult situation, or you are in trouble, or you are out of luck to be behind the eight ball. Like, for example, oh, I just remembered that I must study for my exam. It's actually tomorrow, and I totally forgot about that. Oh, man, you are really behind the eight ball. You are in a very hard situation, or you are out of luck. After that, we have nine. On cloud nine, it means to be very happy, extremely happy, aesthetic, euphoric. So, for example, after marrying his uh, sweetheart, he is on cloud nine. He's very, very happy. After winning the lottery, I suppose he is on cloud nine. He is super happy. And finally, ten. 10 out of 10, it means the perfect score. Like, for example, I ask you, what do you think about that restaurant? You say, oh, it's 10 out of 10. So if you want to give it a mark, if you want to grade it, you will give it the full score, 10 out of 10. Thank you for your time and effort. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And please subscribe to the channel. Good luck.